Trying to see the bigger boys are brought to you by Hound Dog Country. For all your hunting and hound dog needs, visit Hound Dog Country in Cremor, North Carolina. And also by Backyard Cure. You're not barbecuing unless you're backyard cure. <laughs> also by KRB Custom Leather. For all your belts, bracelets, buckles, sheaths, wallets, and everything in between, visit KRB Custom Leather on Etsy and also Facebook. Also by Tide Week. Join the takeover. And also by the yeah, most he's important. Smelling good in here and he's smelling you good. are the Tri-City Bigger Boy supporting members. You, doing. you are you guys over. the Live Action Nation. Process. Shortly after the American Civil War broke out today. Petro here. Bill joined the union. You gotta, gotta make sure you got your goodies. <laughs> Just in case. We're gonna we're gonna run some big drives today, I hope. Um I want to get at least at least four drives in, and my hope is um, we can get about five, five, six, seven deer on the ground today. We'll see what's going on. And uh, this today is um, December the 10th, so we got three more weekends here in Central North Carolina. So we'll see what's going on. Good luck to y'all guys out there. Live action. Hey, hey, as soon as y'all get down there, y'all just let us know. Let us know. Take your time. Do what you gotta do. Everybody know where they at. Everybody know where they going. Hey, um, who taking the money for the me? Get, oh, no, I'm sorry. Give, give, give it. Uh, get, if you don't give it to them, you, you late. All right, guys, we're gonna run this drive. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna run it, and I'm trying to let everybody get lined up. I want everybody lined up. Yeah. And uh, cause if something move, I want everybody to be ready to go. So we'll see what's going on. We got them, got them, we got them dogs in there. They're ready now, they're ready now. Y'all ready? Hey, Blackie, you ready, Blackie? You ready, you ready? <laughs> Come on. All right, let me go ahead and get this first drive started. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, y'all keep your eyes open, guys. Keep your eyes open, guys. Keep your eyes open. Guys, keep your eyes open, guys. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. Watch out in the power line. Watch out in the power line. They smelling good in here. They smelling good. They coming. They coming down to the swamp. Is the way they're doing. Y'all keep your eyes open. Hey, hey! They jump. They jump the dag on rabbit. Uh, they jump the rabbit, guys. They jump the rabbit.
Hey, 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 dog driver, dog driver. They a lot of red in there. Hey, hey, Warner, Warner, if you, that rabbit get to you, shoot that rabbit, Warner. Hey, dog driver, dog driver, y'all hang tight for a minute. Hey, guys on the power line, who's shot and what to shoot? Hey, guys on the power line. <laughs> talk to me, talk to me. What happened, Will? What happened? What happened? Did you get him? Was it a buck or a doe? Hey, are they are they on the are they on our side? They on Okay, okay, all right, all right. Hey, hey, Diamondback Kearney, Diamondback Kearney. Y'all keep your eyes open because them deer might be coming up behind you. Diamondback Kearney, y'all turn around, keep your eyes. All right, guys, so the dogs jumped the rabbit. But them deer got out right up out of here too. And the guys went down to the bottom and them guys on the power line shot. So let's see what happened. Hey guys, them deer are gonna be way in front of the dogs. It looked like they're going towards Brassfield and they're making their way down to the bridge. That's what it looked like. Hey, hey, um, uh, Little Money and Bowie, they, they going down to the bridge down at Brassfield. That's where they going to. Let the, let the other guys know. It looked like they going to the swamp at Brassfield. The dog 
folks running in the swamp over there. Them deer that got in that swamp, it's going to be hard for them to get them out. But we're going to hang tight because them deer going to try to slide out of there somewhere. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> How about your peanut? You got a copy? Yeah, I think they don't cross over. I think they get into the lake. 10 4, 10 4. He, he wanted you to go to the game land. Or That's what he was saying. He wanted you to go to the game land. We're here right now. 10 4, 10 4. license plate. Did he do it? Yeah. So long story short, guys, our dogs ran about three and a half, four miles away from where we did the drive at. They got way outside of the drive. We're on this road here. We're trying to pick up our dogs. Um, this guy that is in it is in this white GMC truck. Uh, he stops um, and he and he he says, you know, y'all are dropping dogs on private land. And I'm like, of course we're not. We're, we got a walkie-talkie and GPS in our hands. We're, we're trying to catch the dogs. We are, you know, a good ways away from where we should be at. Uh, and we're just trying to catch the dogs. And he goes on and tells us that he owns the land across the street. And, um, and that we shouldn't be there. And he wanted our names and license plate and all all this other stuff that had absolutely nothing to do with what we were trying to do out there and we're being respectful we're not even on his land we're not even parked on his side of the road and he was just being him and again guys i didn't want to show his face on camera because i didn't want to give uh i didn't want to give him any action to be honest with you i moved him on down the road and let him talk with dog driver because i wasn't in the mood for his uh, for his little attitude and his little mess. Uh, but at the same time, I tried to be respectful um, because other dog people got to deal with him. Other landowners got to deal with him. And I didn't want him to get, you know, the wrong idea with dog hunting and dog running and, and what we're doing. But at the same time, um, I, I didn't want to get this man any, any play because we ain't got no time for it. He just wanted to be rude and nasty and and, uh, and again, I see other people deal with this stuff as they're running dogs. And the best thing I can tell y'all is try to be as, as good and respectful as you can. Because no lie, what I do back down those back roads, unfortunately, it represents all dog runners and dog owners. And I don't, I don't want to show that side at all. And we're good people. We have a good club, and all we was doing is trying to get our dogs. And unfortunately, we had a landowner that was um, that that was just being rude and nasty. And guess what? Catfish don't even play that stuff. I moved this man down the road and let him talk to dog driver down there um, because I won't having it. Anyway, we had to come back later on that night and get the dogs because the dogs were running pretty hard. And uh, we did get the dogs later on that night, and it was all good. But uh, I know y'all deal with some of the same stuff. The landowners don't want you on the land and 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 just being rude and, and that stuff is not necessary. And again, at the end of the day, um, we just try to be nice to the landowners, regardless if it's land that we lease or not. And we try to represent the club and all deer hunting clubs uh, that run dogs just in a good way. So I know y'all understand what we're going through out here. And uh, But guess what? I love it. Live action. Let's get to the next drive, guys. Hey, he got the right one today, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Catfish, they going away from me, man. I think we're going to have to come back and get these chokers. They running like hell. They 500-something yards from me now. 
let's do it, man. Let's go run another drive and keep the guys busy there. All right, then we'll come back over here and check them out. 10-4. And if that guy up there, let's talk to that guy. Second drive, second drive. Second drive, them deer got out on us. We're about two miles away on us on that first drive, so let's see what we can get going on on this one. Come on. Dog driver dogs jumped. They shooting at the deer right now. Y'all just hang tight for a minute. Hang tight. Just another drive. Peanut got the got a doe on the last drive. We had another deer get out the drive, and two or three more. And they seen on the camera over here. So we're gonna see if we can get anything, something going for y'all. Y'all just hang tight, man. This is hunting. So we still got a couple dogs out from the last drive too as well. We got to go find. So anyway, keep your eyes open. <laughs>
guys need dog boxes. Hey. <laughs> At the gate, I know. What you got, Pino? I got some more to drag out. Mark, we got two or three deals. Okay. Say it again. Oh, oh, okay. You got two over here. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Three. Put them in there, my um, mouth. Yeah, I thought so too, but it's all good. We got we got three all together. Hell, old old Mark, the fan, the fan, oh, oh, and Mark got the buck too. Mark got the buck too. What? Hold up. Is that oh, your fail? Yeah. Well, you can put one or two over there on the other side. Okay. Uh-huh. His truck messed up on here to go get his white truck. He's still trying to figure it. I thought he was trying to find that. I said he's going to meet us over there in the club, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I told you I thought he had three. Oh, three, all you know, what you had. Hey, 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 them pretty deer right there. Them pretty deer. Oh, hold on, we ain't got no horn. Yeah, we got, we got a little bit of horn there. We got a little bit of horn. That's what I'm talking about. Got a little bit of horn. <laughs>